Uh, Dick, Dennis Clark, um, Wednesday morning, uh, October 23rd. Your lesson was yesterday, Tuesday the 22nd. And uh, we worked on a couple things. Uh, so first of, all, first of all, the general diagnosis. You're a very handsy player. Okay, so you have a tendency to use your hands. You do create some good speed that way, which is why you hit it a good distance. But if you do that excessively without the body coming through, if you release your hands and flip the club past your hands like you're doing there, right in here where the club's already out here past you, that's a hook. You know, you, me, or Brooks Kepka, it doesn't matter. It's a hook. Um, so we have to quiet your hands if you want to keep low left out of your game, which is the killer shot. It, the reason I say it's the killer shot is I, I know that once in a while you, you'll block it to the right, but you only block it to the right as a reaction to your hook. Uh, once we get that... Um, hook out of there, I think you're going to be more likely to come through the ball, to turn through the ball. You know, and as we get to be seniors, that turn through is more of a challenge than, you know, it becomes more of a challenge every year. But that's my goal for you is to take the hook out. You know, so we, you've, you've always had a lot of moving parts in your swing. You make a pretty big move off the ball. I mean, if you if you said, well, I want to not sway off the ball, because if you look at where you're taking your center of gravity here, it's pretty far back. So you got to go like hell to get back to this guy. And the way you do is you go back with your upper body ahead. See that racing ahead with your upper body instead of clearing your lower and you're past the ball now, you got to flip the club to make up for it. There's your hook right there. So my suggestion then would be we take your hands out of it, you know, ex completely out of it for a couple days, for a week. And then give me a buzz and drop me a line and say, this is what I'm doing. I wouldn't be surprised if you tell me that you're starting to hit them high right. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to make the left thumb stretch down the club. When you stretch the club down, you'll feel pressure in the last two fingers, the pinky and the ring finger. That's where you're going to feel the pressure in the club once the thumb is long enough, almost so long that you can see the thumbnail through your right hand V in your grip. And make sure that you put, keep the connection between the right hand and the left thumb at the top. And that's what I was doing when I was putting a little piece of grass in there. It's to make sure that you're not re-gripping it and letting that club get too, get too flippy like that. So I'm trying to make your, you know, in golf, we're all trying to make two hands, one hand, right? And that's why we have uh, the overlap and the interlock. It's all the idea of marrying your hands and making them one, one piece. So the way to stop hooking then is to quiet the hands and use the body more coming through. And I mean turning through, not, not you know, coming up when you come through. You'll see that you get ahead, you slide ahead, and you come up. And there's that club that at that point should not be past your hands. That club should still be here. So we talked about lag, and if you felt like you wanted to pull the handle more than throw the head, that's certainly not going to hurt you. Okay. Um, okay, let's set that alone for a minute. The other thing I want you to do is square up, put, put a club down here, put a paint a line, do anything you can to establish your line of flight. And get out of this habit, break the habit of setting up with the right foot in the bucket. Okay? Um, because that, that allows that club to fire inside so quickly. 
as you move back. So I want you to square up and the last thing you do before you set up is definitely move the golf ball forward. See that? That's where I might set up if I were deliberately trying to hook the ball. Now, you, you, this happens subconsciously. You don't even know the ball is that far back. But, I mean, that's where you, that's where you might play a 7-iron. Um, I also, and I didn't mention this yesterday, but I also may consider narrowing your stance just a tad. Ball forward, narrow stance, and square with the long thumb. They're all before you ever swing. Because this uh, wide of a stance is allowing for some of that sway. That's not, you know, necessarily going to stop it, and it's not high on the list. But the thumb, the feet parallel to the line of flight, and the ball position are high on the list, absolutely. Okay. As you get the hands quiet... You don't run ahead of it. You don't come over it. Um, you were going to try to get your hands to come in a little closer to the body and definitely want to get, you know, this habit has probably been with you. As I said, if we look back on your videos, that's probably been with you for a while because you take it back inside, you come over the the backswing path, but you don't necessarily come over the top of the line. This ball is about a zero path, in my opinion. Okay, so to get, get rid of the hook, though, the one thing we do need is we need to get the body to open a little bit because the more the body opens, the more you turn your body, the slower this club is going to close down. So if I did both, if I took your hands out of it by the weaker grip, the longer thumb, and you turn through more, you, we would get, we would definitely get no hook. The last thing I added was a little fan open on the way back. Okay, so see how the shaft is out away from you? That's just something that we want to work on because when it's, the, here's how the two, in my opinion, for you got developed over the years when you started to raise the club that much and you know you take a club that you're setting up on a um, 45 degree angle and then a club that you're swinging on a 56 degree angle when the club gets that much more vertical on you you've got to use your hands to square it because the more vertical it is the more opening face you get and you're hooking it so that'll tell you how much flip you're giving it an impact and no support with with the body um, but that's just you know that's that's a move that I'm only dealing with the hook because if I can take the hook out and you don't have those two or three disaster holes where you're trying to recover from the water or the you know out of bounds in the left we're, we're going to come back down so I get to get the ball in play off the tee a number one, that's stopping the hook. Here's how you do it. You square up. You move the ball forward. You weaken your grip with your left thumb long, your right hand on top with the pressure on it. And you fan the club open slightly as you come through, and you feel as much as possible that your body's turning through impact. Okay? So... One more time, and you can jot these down, and you make a metal note or jot them down if you want to. Square your stance. Move the ball forward. Weaken your grip with the long thumb and the right hand on top. Possibly narrow your stance a little bit. Dynamically, when you start back, fan the club a little bit, and as you start down, instead of standing up, Try to rotate your body through the golf ball a little bit. So you're only doing two things, really. That's, that's five things, but you're only doing two of them in your swing. You're trying to fan it open a little bit going back, and you're trying to get your hips open a little bit coming through. That, along with quieting your hands down, will take care of the hook. Now, if you call me and say, 
hey, I'm pushing everything to the right, well then, you know, you really got to work on moving it more forward, naming more left, and not being afraid to finish. Because right now, finishing, you know, is a little scary for you because you, you get a quack hook, and then the last thing you're going to do is finish, right, to, to the left. See that club turning over? Yeah. So what, when we had our when we had the high ones that were, that's just a stand up and throw. That's what that is. Stand up and throw. I want to stay down and open, roll open. Those are my suggestions to get rid of your hook. All right, buddy. Good to see you again. Um, drop me a note. Let me know how you're doing.